Welcome to the show. It's another day in the llama life. It's uh, late winter. It's freezing cold. It was uh, negative 12 degrees today when we woke up and now the wind's blowing. But the ranch life goes on. We're going to bring to you a pretty cool video today. Hopefully you guys like it. And what we're going to do is basically bring you our 2022 stud lineup. What that means is all the studs that we're going to be using at our ranch that we own for the 2022 season. And uh, we're breeding 99 females that we own personally that we'll be breeding this year. And we're doing 70 outside breedings. That means females that other people own that they're bringing to our ranch during the spring that we'll breed. And so we're going to show you all those studs today and uh, talk to you a little bit about them. Hopefully you enjoy it. So let's dive into it. All right, this right here is this little boy. His name is Spur, and I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little bit about each of these llamas, a um, little bit about their background, and we'll go to the next one. So Spur, this is his first year in the breeding program, and uh, I think he's uh, five years old now, and he did about a grand last year on the trail. Did about a thousand miles, and he did a phenomenal job. Very impressed. I packed with him a few times in the fall, packing out elk, and he did a great job. Now he's, uh, the specs on him, <clears throat> he is 48 inches, 380 pounds, and his uh, dam is uh, Maggie Spitfire. Now she was one of the best um, offspring um, on, the, on the female side out of her sire, which is Jordan White Sox. And then um, his uh, sire is Birch Bermuda. We call him One-Eyed Jasper. And uh, out of all the offspring that Jasper produced, um, this guy tops them all. I think structurally, movement and his athleticism, he ended up being the best out of uh, Birch Bermuda. So he kind of replaces daddy. He's gonna get a chance to breed some llamas this year. So we'll see what his babies look like. <clears throat> all right, this is Sarge. We bought him when he was just a youngster. He's 52 inches at the shoulder and he's fluctuates between 410 and 420 pounds. He's got about 6,000 miles on the trail. He's a real trail hardened packer. And he's pretty stubborn to train at first, and, uh, but he's come a long, long ways and he does a really good job. He's a really easy keeper. He's pretty mellow in the pastures. But when it comes to breeding time, he knows his job. He, uh, he's out of uh, <clears throat> 630 as the sire and the dam is uh, uh, lucky. And he's uh, probably the best offspring that either of those um, sire and dams have ever produced in my opinion. Um, he's pretty outstanding. He has wonderful babies and uh, he's got after this year's crop in 2022 he'll probably have uh, mid 30s is how many offspring he'll have. So yeah we're gonna keep breeding him. You ready? This, this uh, young adult here is Jethro. He's a really nice boy, and uh, we just got him um, last uh, last year, year and a half ago. And Jethro, I kind of have a unique story with him. I was kind of interning at a llama ranch and uh, learning the ropes quite a bit. And I trained this youngster when he was about two years old, and got to take part in his training process. And then was able to buy him. He's probably approaching ten, if I can remember right. And uh, he's 47 inches at the shoulder, and he's about 360 pounds. He's had some nice offspring. He'll have his first two. We'll hit the ground this year for us at our ranch. And we're really excited to have him. He offers some really cool genetics and a wonderful stud. And uh, he did a great job doing some day hikes for us down in uh, Southern Utah um, last season. So yeah, get him into the commercial string and see how he works out. And he's a great guy and excited to see him. His uh, dam is Susanna Dax and his sire is a Canad. So pretty cool guy and he offers a a lot to the table. So excited to see what his babies look like this year and breed them up. All right, I'm pretty uh, proud of this guy right here. This is old Bonsai and uh, he is 49 inches and 400 pounds on the nose. And he's out of Oliver Twist in Aspen. 
And so Aspen was bred at our ranch. Oliver we bought um, as a young stud. And Bonsai's a perfect mix between those two. And he bred last year as a three-year-old. He's four now. And he's going to get uh, the chance to breed a lot of girls in his life. So I got eight lined up for him in our, uh, that are ours this year. And I think he's got about six lined up that are outside breeding. So he's a real gentle spirit. And uh, he's quite the packer. So we're excited to see what he does in the future. And based upon his ability, his structure, um, his athleticism, and then his pedigree, he got to breed a year earlier than I let most of our studs breed. Um, but as you can see, it's a, probably an okay thing. So this is Bonsai. All right, this young man right here, this is Milo. And uh, he's, he's his daddy's replacement. His dad is shaman and uh, his mom, she's all related, unrelated genetics. And so for that reason, he gets to breed to a lot of females. And so we use him heavy on the outside breedings and then we get to use him a lot at our ranch but uh, his daddy's still around so we use him quite a bit still but uh, Milo's a wonderful packer he's um, really close to 10,000 miles now and uh, he's a highly requested llama on the commercial trail and also on the outfitting trail so Milo is uh, 48 inches at the shoulder and uh, he keeps growing you know he he shouldn't but he keeps growing and uh, he hangs out right at 390 pounds. So this is Milo and uh, excited to have him here at a ranch. Born and bred, baby. Born to pack. All right, here's old Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker is uh, out of uh, Opus and June 28th. That was a pretty good combination we were excited to do and uh, produced a boy uh, about as pretty as they make them. And now he's 47 and a half inches at the shoulder and uh, he hangs about 420 pounds. This guy's packing some heat. <laughs> he has uh, about 3,000 miles on the trail. He's coming along really well. Um, he's about as perfect of a pack llama as you could ever ask. And uh, his movement and grace and um, posture are just pretty impressive and he's easy to work around. He can go with anybody on the trail. And uh, he had his first uh, Korea last summer with a bunch more coming this year. So that's Herschel. Well, this is old uh, Donnie. We call him Donnie Brook, and uh, he's a wonderful animal. He's out of Canad and uh, Liberty, and both uh, two magnificent animals. And Liberty actually ended up doing quite a bit of packing for us, his dam, uh, for a few years. Uh, Donnie's got about 7,000 miles on the trail. And uh, he's done quite a few um, long expedition trips where he racked up uh, three to 400 um, miles in just a couple months. And so he's uh, just an amazing high endurance packer. And he's 50 inches and he's pretty lean though. You know, he hangs out right at 375, 380 pounds. And uh, he's had some really great babies and more to come. So this old Donnie. All right, this is old Gunsmoke, old Mr. Personality himself. Him and his half-brother, Top Gun, um, were probably some of the greatest additions, minus Shaman, that we've ever had here at the ranch. And uh, he's a really good breeder um, for maidens because, you know, he's pretty light. He's only 350 pounds, and uh, he's 49 and a half inches at the shoulder. And he rides really high on his hawks when he's breeding the females, so he doesn't crush the, the young uh, first-time females or what we call maiden females. And uh, he really adds a lot of body to them. And it's been really great. Um, his sire was uh, a real blessing to the Pacalama world because he was unrelated and people weren't using him. His name was Gunner. And Gunner produced three offspring and he's one of the three and his half-brother Top Gun's the other one, and we have two of them here, and they ended up being males, and high-end producing on the trail and high-end production on the offspring as well. And so this guy's definitely in the top 10, I believe, um, at our ranch by a long ways. And uh, he has thousands and thousands of miles on the trail, and he's got a really fast pace and gait. He really likes to go fast. He's a four mile an hour packer, but he also is easy, easy going with the kids as well. So this is Gunsmoke.
All right, here he is, the Colossus of Clout, the Babe, the Ruth, <laughs> the Dark Knight. This is Shaman himself. Um, I think he's probably the most athletic llama um, at the ranch for sure, or maybe in North America. There's probably no one that competes with him that's alive today. And uh, think, thanks to the people who bred him, um, Bev Henry and her husband, wonderful folks. And uh, this guy kind of started it all for us as far as the high-end, high-endurance, athletic commercial packers. And now Shaman's 48 and three quarters inches at the shoulder. And he hangs at 430 pounds typically, but uh, we've seen him down in the 390s when he's really, really lean. And he's sired uh, almost 150 offspring now. And uh, he's done a lot of females that aren't registered and a lot of males or females that were registered. And so he gets about 20 girls a year at the ranch now and does a great job. And he's, uh, right now, he's our only living 10K packer. So he has over 10,000 miles on the trail and uh, he's still upright. The cool thing about him is his sire died in his low 20s. Um, and his, his mom died, his dam died, when she was 23 chasing a coyote through the fence. And uh, that's one reason why we have all the proper fencing that we have now is you can't lose, uh, can't have animals in your pastures and can't lose into silly things like that. So he's got some longevity and endurance on his side and um, there's nobody quite like him in the whole country, I believe. And uh, his offspring are pretty high octane. He can't go with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some guanaco in his lines and uh, he's full of fire, but uh, it makes it great for an endurance packer like he is. This is Shaman. All right, um, here's a stud I get asked a lot of questions about. This is Doc Holiday. He's just shy 48 inches and uh, he's 370 pounds. And uh, as far as genetics go, I really like his background a great deal. His dad is Commander Spock, who was a wonderful, magnificent stud, high production, great commercial packer. And then his dam is uh, Evane's Dream Girl. And I think that his dam's dam, which would be his grandma, Evane, um, I never got to see her, but looking at her animals that she produced, she had to be hands down one of the best foundation females in the last 40 years in, in the business. and. Uh, Pretty amazing, so really grateful to have some of her lines here at the ranch. And uh, he produces animals that are typically look just like him in structure, except for they just have more body. You know, they're 48 to 50 inches typically when they finish, and uh, finishing in the, the low 400s is weight. And then he's a very graceful animal, a lot like both sides, his dam and sire, um, pretty elegant and graceful animals. And, he gets about 10 to 15 girls here at the ranch every year and this is a uh, dream girls doc holiday and uh, it's a real treat to have him here and we'll take care of him as long as he's alive on this earth huh buddy yep thanks for the breeders that uh did all the work before us to bring somebody this magnificent into the world it's pretty cool All right, here's our lean, mean teenager. This is Pancake. He got his name at a Backcountry Hunters and Anglers event a few years back when he was just a little tiny baby. Um, uh, he's 50 inches now and he's pretty lean. He's 365 pounds, but I think that he's gonna grow and mature and uh, fill out a little bit more. But uh, he's out of Oliver and Fred, um, both really great animals and uh, Fred's a wonderful packer, but he's kind of his daddy's replacement and so we have him and a couple of his half brothers that were keeping at the ranch and breeding and trying to see what kind of production they'll do on the Korea side, but on the trail, he's a hard-nosed dude. All right, this is Wolfgar. He's at Ayana as a dam and the sire is a Opus. And he's actually a pretty shy boy, but he's got about 5,000 miles on the trail now. And uh, this is his first year of breeding. I wish we would, could have used him before now, but uh, this the uh, genetic system that we're working with didn't line up, but this would be his first year of breeding. Really excited to have him here. My brother-in-law actually owns this llama, but uh, he lives and works here and uh, breeds here. So we're grateful to Josh for letting, him use, letting us use him. And uh, 
man, he's just a really good guy. And he really likes working with um, people that are really patient and easy going. He's just a pretty simple llama and uh, he'll do anything you ask him to do on the trail. So this is a wolf car. All right, here's old slouchy Deacon. Deacon's out of uh, Maverick and, uh, and Fred. You just saw his half brother um, a few seconds ago. And uh, he's uh, 51 inches at the shoulder and he's 440 pounds. Um, he's a big old guy and we used him for the first time last year in the breeding. He's got about 2,000 miles of trail experience and uh, boy, he's just easy. Fits right into the crowd and uh, has these long old strides and he really moves out and it's pretty graceful animal. So excited to see um, his babies. I wish I had more females that were unrelated to him so I could breed him more. So if you got some llamas that you want bred to uh, top tier stud, this is your guy, this old deacon. Come buddy, come on. All right, this old Waylon. Now he's out of 630 and Skeeter and Skeeter's uh, one of our uh, best foundation females, she's really produced some top end uh, uh, packers and breeders. Waylon's 50 inches, uh, just a little past 50 inches on the shoulder, and he hangs out at 390. And uh, so pretty lean and mean, and he's a great packer, and uh, his babies are coming out looking just like him. And so it's hard to beat an animal that reproduces himself, and uh, he's a wonderful packer. He's got about 4,000 miles of experience now, and. We send him out and he does a lot of outside breedings for us because uh, he has some half brothers here that kind of um, started before him and we've got more data on their production on their offspring. So yeah, this is Waylon. All right, this is old uh, Freaky Frankie. <laughs> this is Frankie. He's uh, 50 and a half inches of the shoulder. 390 pounds, and this is his first year entering into the breeding program. He's got a really cool uh, front sock that we just love. And uh, as far as uh, proportions on the body, his, uh, his muscle, his long tied muscling, his stride, and his ability to pack. Um, this is one of the best animals on the male side that we've produced here at the ranch. And I'm really hoping he passes it off to his offspring. So we'll see, passes on to his offspring. And uh, boy, he's just a really magnificent animal. Um, I think he'd do really well in the show ring as well. And uh, he's about as perfect a structure as I believe that they can make him. And uh, this old Frankie, he's got a great personality to match it. So we'll see what his babies turn out to be, but uh, he's only got about 600 miles on the trail, but he's just a youngster. So first year commercial packing will be this year and first year breeding. So he's earned the rights. Okay, this is old uh, Han Solo. We just call him Solo. And uh, he's a pretty sweet guy. <laughs> he's out of Birch Bermuda, and I think he's uh, number two. They came out of uh, Birch Bermuda, or what we call Jasper. That's his sire. And his dam is uh, Harmony. And so it was actually one of her first offspring. And it was a great pairing. I wish we could have done it a bunch more times, but uh, glad we did it when we did. And, uh, you know, he's pretty dominant for how young he is. He's got just turned over a thousand miles last year and uh, bringing him into the breeding season for the first time this year. And uh, he's 47 and a half inches at the shoulder and 360 pounds. So um, got a really powerful uh, locomotion that back end. Got a lot of a lot of power and muscling back there. And uh, he's really well tied in the front and has a, a really long sloping shoulder with a great reach. So um, I'm excited. Very promising young stud. So. We'll see what we can do. This is Solo. All right, here he is. Uh, probably the tallest llama in North America. He's 53 inches at the shoulder and uh, he's 460 pounds. And his name is Stetson. My very best friend in the world owns him. And uh, he lets us use him every year for breeding. And he came here about three or four years ago and he's been uh, packing and breeding ever since. And uh, he's a pretty high strung animal when we got him. And uh, now after lots of training and 
pack experience. He's uh, turned out to be a really a wonderful addition to the ranch. And he has babies that are lean and mean, and um, he adds a lot to the females. He's a his the way that his body's put together. He can breed a lot of females that need uh, to be narrowed up and need some uh, length to them. He adds a lot of height to his babies and good nice post length and he's just really great. He has got a really nice double coat and uh, it's been a great addition to have at the ranch. So this is Stetson. All right, here's one of the better bred animals we have at the ranch and one of our, you know, high producing animals. This is old Dewey Moore. Dewey Moore is 49 inches at the shoulder and 400 pounds. So um, pretty good, uh, pretty good body on this guy. He has wonderful movement and reach with his, uh, his legs, good tied muscling. And he's just a big old teddy bear. <laughs> he's pretty easy to be around. Um, the first time I ever put a halter on him, he led. The first time I put a saddle on him, um, he didn't even budge when we took him packing. And he's just really intelligent, a very special, special animal. And uh, his first Kriyas were born last year. We rebred him, and so he's going to have quite a few Kriyas, I think, in his day. And I wish I had more females that were unrelated to him so we could breed him more, but uh, this old Dewey Moore. Okay, this is uh, old Doak. Now, he's, uh, I really, really loved his dam. Um, she's still here at the ranch and still producing, but boy, her babies are top, top tier babies. And uh, his mom is Lady Ivana, and she has some pretty cool genetics. Um, different, come from Canada, but different than most of the Canadian lines. And his dad is a uh, Opus. So uh, he's got about 3,000 miles on the trail, and he's just stacking them up like cordwood, huh, buddy? This is his first year in the breeding program. Hey, I kind of want to see how he was going to do on the trail before I gave him the opportunity, but he earned it this year, so we'll see how he does. This is old Doak. All right, this is a llama named Sue. This guy's a kind of a cheeky bugger, <laughs> and uh, he's a pretty great addition to the herd. Really excited to have him here. He's unrelated to almost everything that we have and uh, he gets to breed a lot of females. And the cool thing about him is uh, he has just magnificent body proportions and he has a lot of length in the back, in the neck, in the legs. And then he uh, has a lot of um, athleticism. When he was just a youngster, he, uh, I was trying to catch him for the first time. We had a five foot gate and he ran through the, all the way through the pasture, leaped full run over the gate, legs spread out and uh, <laughs> cleared it without even touching it. It was a pretty amazing feat for a big old animal like this. Now he's 49 and a half inches, 410 pounds, and uh, he has about 3,000 miles of experience now, and uh, he's just doing great. Really blessed to have this guy. This is Sue. Okay, this is Quigley. Um, his full brother is Waylon, so dad 630 damn uh, Skeeter. And uh, he's a little bit shorter, but a little bit heavier than his brother. And uh, they're built totally different, even though they're full brothers. And uh, he has one more full brother, Remington, and all three of them look totally different. <laughs> so uh, we're breeding him. His brother gets half, Waylon gets half, and he gets half of the females that they could breed. And uh, just kind of doing an experiment, seeing uh, how the production goes on the offspring side. So time will tell, but this guy's a... Uh, Real gentleman, easy to handle, a little bit more outgoing than his full brother Waylon, and uh, great to have him here. So this is old Quigley. <clears throat> okay, you'll see uh, his daddy today. This is Strider. Strider's 48 inches and 370 pounds. I think that he'll uh, continue to grow. This is his first year into the breeding program. We bred him last year but uh, to one female, but it didn't take. And uh, he's really slender, narrow between the arms, and uh, really easy going, and uh, just a kind of a chip off the old block. He's just like his sire, and what more could you ask for, you know? <clears throat> his dam is Ashley, and she's had some really good offspring for us. So this is old Strider, um, pretty beautiful looking llama, and it's really fun to pack with him. He just 
He just really enjoys being back there. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> All right, this is Vulcan. He's at a dock holiday in Starry Night. <laughs> he's kind of a, you know, he's a cleanup batter. He's one of those big, big llamas, uh, big personality, a lot of body there. He's 50 inches and uh, 430 pounds, and uh, he's all business. So this is his first year in the breeding program, and uh, glad to have another production stud in our lineup from his sire, so. Him and Strider are going to get a lot of uh, takes on the females this year. and um, He's only got a thousand miles of trail experience, but he's really young. So he'll add them up here as he grows and matures and gets, uh, gets to go out more. So we'll see how he does this year. Come on, buddy. Come on. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is my old buddy, my friend. Eee! This old gentle Oliver. Um, his dad was Hannity, his mom's Skeeter, and you saw a couple of other of his dams, uh, I guess his brothers, out of uh, Skeeter. You saw Waylon, and then you probably saw uh, Quigley, <clears throat> and so, and those are out of uh, all the same dam. But this guy is uh, totally different than those other guys, and genetically he's quite the pairing. So Wade, my little boy, loves to ride Big Ollie, that's what he calls him, and boy, he's hitting almost 8,000 miles now on the trail. So he's a go-getter and offers a lot to the llama community because of his genetics. Adds a lot of bone and muscle to his animals. And uh, so he's 450 pounds. Come on, guy. Easy. He's 450 pounds and he's 50 inches on the nose at the shoulder. So pretty unique build and uh, a great to have him here at the ranch. And he's had, he'll have uh, almost 40 Kriyas now at the end of the season. So. He's, he's getting a number up there. Okay, this is Patron. This is his first year into the program. And he's out of uh, Sully and uh, Margarita. And, uh, you know, he almost didn't make it when he was just a little, little tyke. He was stuck in the birth canal and we had a hard time getting him out, huh, buddy? <laughs> My wife actually did all the work and keep this guy alive and got him here and boy what a blessing it's here. He's pretty well balanced, great top line and this is his first year breeding and he's got just shy of a thousand miles so we'll see what he can do but uh, he's, a, he's a great great young packer, easy going and uh, we'll see what his Kriyas turn out to be. It'd be pretty cool to see. Okay, this is uh, Levon. He was uh, bred here and born here, and he's a 50-inch guy as well, right at 400 pounds. And uh, he offers quite a bit of uniqueness, and I think he's maybe the best uh, male that came out of his uh, sire, Maverick, or sorry, Ollie. And, uh, and his dam, we all, we call her so many different names, and her registration name is one we didn't really like, so we call her Irene. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's, he took right to it, kind of like all of Oliver's offspring. So this is Levon, and he's going to get his first wax at it this year. We'll see how he does. Come on, bud guy. Come on. Okay, this is Ace, and uh, he's totally unrelated to any llama that we know of in our herd, and hopefully... He gets a chance to breed a lot. He did a lot of outside breedings last year. He's 47 inches and 360 pounds, and he's a heavy duty commercial packer. And we found him in uh, the desert and have been uh, using him and breeding him and training him ever since. So when we got him, his mom, he was in utero, so he wasn't born yet. And then he was born here at the ranch and uh, really don't know much about his genetics, but he is registered just with unknown uh, pedigree. So this is Ace. And this is the last that we'll present to you guys for the 2022 studs that we'll be using for our breeding operations at Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas. However, we've got a bonus feature. We're going to show you the three-year-old studs that we think we're going to grow into future studs. But uh, they're not proven yet. They haven't been on the trail. They'll be turning three years old in the, this spring, spring of 2022. And we're excited to see how they... Uh, 
how they do on the trail, what kind of uh, packers they turn out to be, and then how they finish out. They still haven't finished growing, so they're all of our young studs. They're all coming three-year-olds and the future generation, so we'll go show you guys a few of those that we think are promising, and uh, that'll be the end of the clip, so more to come. Come on, let's go. All right, here he is. This is Tate. And uh, he's out of Callista and Gunsmoke. And so he's kind of his daddy's replacement, which we're excited to have. And uh, he's a little bit taller than his dad. He's right at 50 inches. And they're pretty lean still. This guy's only 360, but I think he'll finish out at 400. So this is three-year-old Tate. And this will be his first year really kind of getting some miles underneath his belt. So he basically has only training miles at this point. But excited to see uh, how he turns out and how he improves over this year. So we'll see. Come on, big guy. All right, this is Depsy. Um, he's out of Lady Ivana. He saw his uh, half brother in the big pasture with all the studs for 2022. This guy won't get any breeding this year, but uh, he's going to be a future stud for us. And uh, he's 48 inches at the shoulder. 340 pounds, but I'm guessing that he'll grow up to be in the low 400s. And uh, just like his dam, he's really, really square and has a great top line and great personality. And his daddy's Oliver. So we'll see how depths he does. All right, step up. Come on now, Charlie boy. This old Charlie boy, he's out of Shaman and Luna. Uh, one of uh, Shaman's great offspring here. Excited to see how he turns out. He's uh, 50 inches and 430. Excited to see how he finishes up, but I think it's going to be a great addition. He's kind of a knothead initially in training, but uh, he, boy, he trained right up real nice and really smart. Figures things out quickly. All right, the, believe it or not, this llama is named Bo. He wasn't born or bred here. A good friend of ours bred him out of uh, Southern California and he named him Bo. And he was born when I was going through cancer and uh, then he ended up selling them to us. So you got Bo and Bo. <laughs> and uh, he's not quite 50 inches, but he's out of a really cool stud named Zorro. And uh, his dam, I was really excited um, to get him because I, I really liked his dam and wished I could have bought her, but uh, Ziva David and uh, Zorro. So, this guy's 370 right now, and I guess that he'll probably get, um, he'll probably add 10 to 15 pounds and call it good. But he, uh, I almost bred him this year, but uh, I didn't. So he's a three year old, coming three year old, and he'll get his chance here in a year or two. All right, this is Hawk. He's 400 pounds, 49 inches, and he's out of Sarge, one of our outcross females. So, all the females that his dad could breed, basically he'd be able to breed one day as well. And uh, so really excited to have a Sarge replacement. And he's a, just a fresh young stud. And he's really calm, easy going. And they picked on him quite a bit in the pasture and then he got big and strong and grew fast. They don't pick on him anymore. So we'll see how he does. This is a future upcoming stud, old Hawk. Okay, this is Bruno. Now, out of all the cheeky llamas I've ever met, he's the cheekiest. He'll replicate anything he sees. He'll try to sneak out anytime he gets a chance. He's the first one to figure everything out. We teach him how to do something. We show him how to do it, and he does it the first time. Sometimes you don't even have to ask him to do it. Um, structure's pretty remarkable. He looks like he's a 10-year-old high production uh, commercial packer, but he's just a youngster. He'll be three in the spring, and uh, boy, I mean, this uh, one of the best minds I've ever seen out of any llama that we've ever raised. So this old Bruno, he's out of uh, uh, Big Ollie and Ivory, or sorry, Big Ollie and uh, Della Ray, and I think it was our first offspring, and uh, quite magnificent guy. Really impressed with him. Um, he's never leaving this ranch, I can tell you that much. I'm big guy. <laughs> And uh, Bruno's 48 inches, 400 pounds already. So we'll see how he finishes out. Go 
Come on, buddy. Well, this is Cypher. He didn't want to walk up here, but uh, Cypher's 48 and a half inches, 390 pounds, and he's out of Oliver and Ivory. So you just saw his half brother, um, <clears throat> Bruno, but they're nothing alike. <laughs> not in build, not in uh, personality, but uh, he's a pretty nervous guy. It's going to take him a couple years to kind of settle into the harness of working on the trail, but I think he'll do it just fine. And But the structure and the genetics is what kind of is the wow factor about this guy. So hopefully you like him and excited to see how he comes on, along on the trail and in the production side with his offspring. So this is old Cypher. Come on, guy. Come on. <laughs> this guy's kind of being naughty. This is old Jafar and uh, I don't know if he is the best that we produced out of this class, but uh, he's probably in the top three for sure. And so he's out of Top Gun and, and Elsa, and uh, he's probably Top Gun's best offspring. But man, just just incredible. You know, you don't get llamas like this very often, and I think that we got three out of this last crop that are just uh, gonna be top tier producing studs. So we'll see what he can do, but uh, he's trained up real nice. Really excited to have a replacement for his daddy. So we'll see how he does. This is um, <clears throat> the man. You're going to be awesome, aren't you, big guy? Knuckles. Boom. All right. This is uh, Talos. His mom is Kylie and his dad's Top Gun. And uh, he's a pretty good guy. I'm really impressed with how he turned out. I wasn't a huge fan of his dam, and so um, we bred her anyway because she had unrelated genetics and bred her to Top Gun. And so we got him, and he's really magnificent. And for that for that pairing, I was really impressed. Top Gun added a lot to the old female. And so she's passed away now, but uh, yeah, what a, what a wonderful dam. And excited to that she left a legacy for us with old Talos here. So Talos is about as mild mannered and easy going as they come. And he's definitely gonna get some breeding chances here in the future. So he's uh, 340 pounds and 48 inches. So he's got a little bit more to grow and we'll see how he finishes out. But this old Talos. All right, uh, I'm here with my boy Talos. This is the last of the three-year-olds that uh, will be turning three this spring 2022 and uh, we've got quite a crop here there's uh, 30 three-year-olds and out of that I think we had just shy of 10 that were going to be um, into the production as far as producing offspring so we'll see how they do I think there's a lot that could go out there and produce but these three-year-olds uh, we had a you know a good handful that were a mark above the rest and I'm really excited to see how they turn out and watch them grow and train up they're sure fun to work with and watch their steps of progression. And this guy, you know, he's just gonna do great and they're all gonna be awesome to have on the trail and make good companions and good friends. And now, now we're gonna see if they're good, great on the trail and what their offspring look like. So they'll get their chance. A couple more years of packing and improving themselves and uh, they'll earn their rights to enter into the breeding program. So we'll see how these future studs turn out. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, I know it's probably a weird one for some of you, but uh, we focus and plan and plot all these genetics and all the breeding and do hand breeding and travel around the country trying to get the best of the pack llamas that we can find and to produce so that future generations can take these guys out on the trail and have great experiences. So a lot of work goes into it and uh, we just kind of like to show you some of these characters and what they're all about and hopefully you see some of them on the trail in some of our other videos. So enjoy. Have a great uh, rest of your week, and if you'd like, subscribe to the channel.